Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to tutorial 17 on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. So, first off, I'd like to apologize for the delay in my series. This is due to the fact that uh, I tried recording before and I was encountering some problems. So, yeah, just needed to deal with that, and yeah, I've done that, so here I am. And secondly, uh, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one So you'll be more organized in creating your game and you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game Good stuff. So uh, if you're following thus far, you'll know that Today I'll be showing you guys uh, How you can build your game in unity and also I stated that we'll be doing a total review of everything we've done so far however I see the review as an, irre an irrelevant uh, statement alright I don't actually think that uh, you know the review is that important but I have did an actual review and uh, yeah concluded to that actual point now this two errors I've noticed alright and I'll just be focusing on those uh, errors and uh, show you guys how you can build your game alright so first off you'll need to check for the link in the description below as usual and download the package and import it into your project good stuff and after you finish that uh, you'll have this tutorial 17 folder within the folder I have two scripts alright these are very important these are for the errors in which I've uh, noticed in the game uh, first error now it's this let's say your player I'll disable the water for a second. Let's say your player, all right, walks off this area here, all right. Now you'll notice that the water starts from around here. I'll just enable it back, all right. It starts from around this area here, all right. So let's say your player walks and he reaches here. He's still on the terrain and he walks out too much and he walks off the terrain, all right. What's going to happen? As I told you guys, the player is going to continue falling into oblivion, alright? And that's not really what we want. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to actually uh, create a cube, alright? I showed you guys how you can do that already. It's very simple. Just uh, right click uh, 3D objects, create a cube, and just scale the cube and, uh, you know, scale the cube so big that it will actually cover the terrain like how this one is covering the terrain here yeah, good stuff and just ensure that it's you know not too uh, far down uh, below the terrain alright just ensure that it's uh, around one or two uh, yeah one or two levels below the terrain alright and yeah that's pretty much that and what you're going to need to do is set the box collider to is trigger all right and what you're going to need to do is take the trigger one script and just drag it on to the game object all right i've already done that as you can see here all right so basically what the uh, script is for is basically if let me just enable the water and just hit play if the player exceeds the terrain all right if he walks off the terrain he's going to actually enter the cube and when he enters the cube it's going to just automatically restart the level all right now you'll need to actually you'll need to actually create another script all right if you want the same effect in uh, your other levels all right because as i showed you guys uh in a previous tutorial uh, for restarting by the timer you need to actually uh, set up in the script application not load whatever level you want and as you can see this is only one script and it's set to restart uh, the first level which is zero alright so in a case you want to restart the next level which is gonna be one you need to create a new script copy everything and just change this here to one all right I showed you guys that already so yeah that's pretty much that and the final thing that we'll need to do uh, I think it's around in tutorials 8 yeah tutorial 8 
uh, we'll just go right here main menu save this if it asks you to save and uh, the other error in which I've noticed is basically uh, when let's say for example uh, you finish level one all right it's going to automatically go to the main menu and you'll notice that the mouse would be would not be displayed on the screen right away and that's basically because when you were playing the game the uh, script was set to hide the mouse all right and you'll need to press uh, your start key uh, to uh, stop the game automatically and then just hit back unity and the mouse would show up uh, and that's not really the effect we're looking for all right we want our game to be you know a little spot on all right we don't want any sort of uh, errors like that so I've uh, come up with a sort of a solution for that all you need to do is select your main camera and just drag the show courses script all right so wherever you have like a sort of menu like this all right with text and so forth which will be your ma your main menu your load menu you can just select your main camera and drag the show courses script what this is gonna do um, let me just show you right now uh, but I'll tell you in the meanwhile uh, what this is gonna do it's basically gonna allow the mouse to show as soon as the level uh, as started alright so you'll notice that the mouse would be on the screen right away you won't really have to press any keys or stuff like that we'll just wait for the countdown timer to reach zero all right and you'll see what i'm talking about so yeah that's pretty much uh that yes as you can see the mouse displays right away and you can select whatever as i told you guys the quit button won't work because we haven't built the game yet so yeah that's pretty much that so yeah, uh, there's some other ways you can enhance your game's outlook. All right, you can. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the terrain assets. All right, that's available in the Unity Asset Store. It has some uh, other trees that you can use for your game and stuff, stuff like that. You know, yeah, that's pretty much that. And uh, you guys can you know play around with them and set up your game to your liking. All right, yeah. And the final thing that I like to touch on is the uh, GUI now if you're gonna build the game you're gonna need to actually play it in a I think it's gonna be resolution 800 by 600 all right because uh, if we set it to full screen you'll notice that all of this here will be right in the middle when it's supposed to be at the end all right but uh, I'll leave a uh, I'll leave something in the description, all right? Like a sort of a script, all right? A link to a script, and you guys can actually uh, change all of this up, all right? So yeah, that's pretty much that. So with the script, everything will be displaying the way it should, all right? It's just a uh, GUI code that needs to be edited in a certain way, all right? yeah that's pretty much that so building your game it's very simple nothing uh, complicated all you need to do is just go to files build settings and uh, you can just hit build alright now the only thing that you need to remember is just ensure that your game is you know up to your liking you know but as I told you guys it's a pretty basic tutorial series so I won't be covering much I'll just probably be covering the basics in unity all right this uh, tutorial series is basically for those beginners in unity if they want a, a, a sort of understanding of what's going on you can check out this series that's what I've told you guys from the beginning if you want a sort of advanced uh, or you want to go a little more in depth you can check out my new series on how to create a zombie for a specific shooter game in unity where I'll be going a little bit in depth in uh, the unity game engine so yeah that's pretty much that now uh, uh, some stuff to remember you can just change these here to whichever uh, platform you have this here if you set it to this this basically means that you'll actually uh, the game would only run on a 64 bits processor but if you leave it on the uh, x86 it's gonna run on both 62 uh, 32 and 64 bits processor sorry 
yeah that's pretty much that and these uh, are the settings here on that important I'll get a little more in depth with them in the next in my new series on how to create a zombie first person shooting game sorry yeah that's pretty much that and uh, yeah uh, the well this here we already know that we're creating the game for PC so yeah we'll just leave it right here but if you were creating it for another console you know you could have just changed the Xbox one or whatever yeah that's pretty much that and all you need to do is just hit build you can hit build and run if you want to what that means is when you after you build the game and it's completed it'll run automatically but yeah that's pretty much that now uh, this is very important uh, you need to name your start the uh, file to start the game alright let's say you're gonna name it uh, basic tutorial game alright alright you can just hit save alright and what's gonna happen our oh, another window is gonna pop up uh, building the game alright and when it's completed a new window is gonna pop up it's gonna be something like this alright right in this folder alright and uh, you're gonna have a folder with the name basic tutorial game data alright and you'll have this here you can just take these two files as I did and put place them in a folder separately if you want to alright so yeah you can just hit uh, this here and you can start playing your game now a window will pop up this window here uh, the configuration window and as I was telling you guys you will need to play the game in 800 by 600 so everything would be in the actual position as it should you can change the graphics to whatever if you wanted that fantastic fastest whatever and yeah, you can change the display if you want to windows mode if you want to play it in windows mode you want to play it in full screen you can just leave it on click and you can just hit play and you can stop playing your game so yeah that's pretty much how you can build your game in unity so yeah that's pretty much that so once again i hope you uh hope have learned something from this series yeah so Hope you like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and uh, I hope you guys enjoy my series uh, if you do you can tell a friend you know and they can also you know try and try out their actual uh, hand in creating a sort of game in unity so yeah that's pretty much that so once again hope you like this video hope you like my series if you do you can give me a thumbs up uh, do remember to check me out on Facebook you know you guys can give me some actual uh, feedback on what you actually think or you know if you guys want me to make a video in particular uh, you know you guys can just tell me and I'll get right down the business in helping you guys out in whatever way I can so yeah that's pretty much that so yeah that's it and I'll see you guys in my new series that I'm working on on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in unity so yeah once again hope you like this video if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel yeah that's pretty much that so until next time continue making games guys peace